In this video I'm showing how I fixed a problem where my computer kept booting to this EFI shell version 2.10 screen and no matter what I did it wouldn't make it into Windows. I had recently been working inside of the case so I had a feeling I probably just didn't plug something back in correctly. So I opened the case up and I started looking for loose cables. From what I've read it sounds like this problem is usually caused by the hard drive not being connected correctly. So you want to find the hard drive and make sure that the SATA data cable and SATA power cables are connected. In my case, the cables were all connected to the drive correctly, but I didn't plug the other end into the power supply. So I connected that cable to the power supply, and then I put the case back on the side of the machine. And this time when I turned the computer on, I didn't see any sign of that EFI shell error, and it was able to successfully boot into Windows. That's pretty much it for this video. It's a simple one, but hit like if it helped you out, and thanks for watching.